What's up guys, I'm Rustin from RossMertech.com and this is another tutorial in beginner PHP programming. Now in this class I'm going to show you guys how to create a simple PHP form that will run on a web browser. So let's get started. Now the first thing we need to do, since this is going to be a PHP form, we have to delete this here. We got to delete all this here and we have to type in HTML tag and body tag closing body and closing HTML tag. So let's first start off by typing the HTML tag. It's less than symbol html greater than symbol right enter we're going to type in our body tag again it's still less than symbol we're going to type in body b o d y greater than symbol now we're going to type in the less than symbol again forward slash html this is the closing html tag oops this is the closing HTML tag. Now we're going to type in, uh, we should have the closing body before the HTML tag. So let's type in the less than forward slash B O D Y greater than symbol here. Okay. So now we have here a open HTML tag here, a open body tag on the bottom here. We have the closing body tag and the closing HTML tag, right? So let's hit enter a few times. Now the first thing we're going to need to do is type in this less than symbol. We're going to type in form F O R M hit space, we're going to type action, A-C-T-I-O-N, all right, then we're going to use the equal symbol without a space, and again, without a space, we're going to use the double quotes, then we're going to type in the name of the PHP file we want to send the data to, it could be whatever name, I'm just going to type in uh, hello, that PHP, right, and end it with a double quote here, now I'm going to press the space button, we're going to type in method, M-E-T-H-O-D, and we're going to use this equal then symbol without the space. Then we're going to type in the double quote without the space. Then we're going to type in post, P-O-S-T, end it with a double quote, and end it with a greater than symbol, right? So this first line of code here, this is the, the form, and this is letting uh, the PHP program know that the, the form data will be sent to this uh, PHP file, right? And the method is a post. We're posting. Now we're going to add another line here. And we're going to type in, uh, I'm gonna, uh, you can type in whatever you want. Uh, whatever characters you want to print out on the screen. I'm going to type in name, right? And I want to add a, a colon here. So this is going to print out on the screen right here, name. You could, you could add whatever you want, depending on the type of form you're creating, right? So now I'm going to hit space. I'm going to use the less than symbol again. I'm going to type in input. This is going to be our first input, right? So the word name is going to print out on the screen. And next to it, we're going to create an input code. So less than symbol, I-N-P-U-T, right? Input, hit space. We're going to type in type T Y P E. So now we're going to give it an input type. We want this one to be a text. So we're going to type in the equal symbol without a space, double quote. We're going to type in text T E X T and it with a double quote, right? And now we created a input type, which is uh, text, right? So when the program starts, it's going to ask for an input and the input is going to be a text. So we're going to hit space. Now we're going to give it a name. We're going to give this input a name. So we're going to type in N-A-M-E, right? Then we're going to type in this equal symbol here, double quotes, and we're going to name it whatever we want. I want to name mine, let's just call it name, right? We're going to use this later on to retrieve the data, but in my next tutorial, I'll show you how to retrieve data and all that stuff. Now um, we've got to finish it off with this uh, greater than symbol. Now I want to jump to the next line, right? To do that, we're going to type in the break code or the break tag. We're going to need a less than symbol, greater than symbol. In between this less than and greater than symbol here, we're going to type in BR for break. So when the program runs, it's going to uh, jump to that next line underneath here. Now let's hit enter. Uh, now I'm just going to create, you could create as many inputs as you want. For this tutorial, I'm going to keep a symbol. I'm only going to keep one input. Let's say I copy this here and I wanted to create another input. I could just copy this here and paste this here, right? So edit paste over here so uh, now we have two inputs right let's uh, actually let, I'll, I'll keep this here let's let me just rename this I'll call this one green or date right so this is gonna be another input and it's again the type is gonna be text but I'm gonna call name this one date so now we have two inputs right and we have another break so it's gonna break to the next line now I'm gonna add a submit button 
to add a same with button right here, we're going to use this less than symbol. We're going to type in input, I-N-P-U-T, equal than symbol, uh, this double quotes, right? Then we're going to type in submit, S-U-B-M-I-T, finish it with a double quote and greater than symbol, right? So now we got to hit enter and we're going to close this form. To close this form, we're going to use again the less than symbol. We're going to type in forward slash F O R M greater than symbol. Now we finished our simple PHP form. So let me uh, start from the top. We created a uh, HTML code here. This is HTML tags. This is a open HTML tag, open body tag, and close body tag and close HTML tag. This uh, form will be uh, appearing on a web browser, so that's why we have these tags here. All right. In between uh, the open and close tags here, we have our form, the code for our form here. We started off with this first line here, which we we uh, we called we named the form and we called this form hello.php, right? And we gave it a method which is post. We're gonna be posting stuff. So what this does, it's gonna send all our info to this hello.php file, right? And it's gotta get stored in like variables. So later on in my next tutorial, I'll show you guys how to uh, do whatever you want with the data, right? So now our second line here, we just typed in name and colon. This is just gonna print out on the screen, right? Next to it, we have this input code, right? And this input code, we have input and type, and then the type is text. So the user will have to input text, and we named this name. And we added a break, so it breaks to the next line. Then we added another input uh, code here. And this, uh, we, we added a date. We typed in date, colon. This is going to print out on the screen. We added the input code next to it. And again, it's, uh, the type is text. We hit space. We gave it a name. We called it date, right? Then we, we broke to the next line. Then we added a submit button here. This is the code for the code for a submit button. We have to use this less than. We type in input, equal sign. Uh, then we type in this double quote, the code submit, S-U-B-M-I-T, uh, double quotes, and finish it with this greater than symbol. Then we end the form with this closing form. It's the less than symbol, forward slash, F-O-R-M, closing, I'm sorry, uh, greater than symbol here and that's it so let's hit save let me open up our browser here let's hit refresh and as you can see it printed it out but it didn't print out the form so let's see what happened all right sorry input then we have to hit space then we have to type in type t y p e that's why it didn't work so let's hit save again so again this code here for the submit button you have to we have to type in this less than symbol Input, hit space, we're going to type in type, equals, uh, double quotes, submit, double quotes, greater than symbol. So let's hit save again. I'm going to hit refresh, and it printed out the submit button. And whatever we type in here, we could type in whatever we want. I could type in hello, right? The date, I could type in whatever, hello again. Doesn't matter, right? And once we hit submit, all that info gets uh, sent to whatever PHP form you typed in this action here, right? I typed in hello.php. There should be a hello.php or whatever, uh, wherever you send it to, there should be a form with that name. So then uh, when, when you need to pull that information out, uh, you, can, you can do so. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmarTech.com and thanks for watching.